Hello, dear empath, how is this person? Welcome to first video of this week. It's Monday as I'm recording this. So this is a daily angel message video reading for you empaths and how is this people. As usual, who have been through emotional abuse in your past or maybe even currently in your life and you're wondering how to move forward with your life you're maybe struggling with your, all of your feelings and emotions and everything that comes with it healing from trauma possibly childhood trauma etc so let's see what is coming up today from the universe and from myself with love and angels and the spirit guides so we have the starseed cards here today starseed oracle and work your light and you can see here this card popped out already so i thought i would just show it to you here first my vibes speak louder than my words so always pay attention to your own energy your own balance because that's what you want to be creating in your life you know balance and peace inner peace inner balance you know self-love self-care routines every day and you know taking care of yourself loving yourself authentically because that's the energy where you want to come from so that you will also experience that in your life so let's see what is coming up with the star seed cards here today as usual i'm just intuitively pulling out cards here so let's see okay so we have priestess here how are you being called to step up and lead? Wow, this is a powerful message. So definitely, as an empath, as a highly sensitive person, you're being called to stepping up again <laughs> into your power, being a light worker, spiritual coach, maybe teacher, to really own your gifts and talents your skills because we are going towards better times with the world and us light workers star seeds earth angels empaths and hsbs spiritual coaches teachers all of us we're being called to stepping up so this is a collective energy and it's also coming up here today and bound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives so really <laughs> i'm just loving this because this card is really about setting yourself free releasing everything that is not serving you releasing baggage from the past ancestral patterns you know any types of toxic patterns that you have been holding on to maybe <clears throat> without even knowing it because oftentimes we don't realize when we have this baggage toxic energy from the past we are just carrying it with us and we don't understand we don't see it and then we are stunned when we experience struggles in life for example like with toxic relationships if you are constantly feeling and seeing like you are dealing with toxic people narcissistic people energy vampires it is a lesson everything is a lesson so everyone always teaches us something so we should just stop and pay attention and listen and you know find what the lesson is behind it so that we can just embrace it and release it and move, move forward and choose love again and you know naturally you can't do that if you're carrying that 
toxic energy. And I have been talking about this in my videos, if you've been following my work, uh, if you're my client, for example. This is familiar to you because I talk about this a lot. Because it's, it's really the core of things. How can you ever be happy if you're just constantly uh, wallowing or like carrying that baggage within you? Because it's stored within you, in your brain, in your body. If you're not releasing it, acknowledging it. And that's what you have to do. Keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Oh, beautiful support message. Remember that you're never alone. Like I always say in my videos, you're never ever alone. You're always supported and guided, loved, accepted. No matter what anybody says, no, no matter what anyone who is toxic to you has ever said to you, it does not matter. It's only words. You are always enough. You're always supported. You have ancestors who work as your spirit guides. Your loved ones are always there. They're always your spirit guides. You can have other guides, of course, as well. But your ancestors, your past loved ones, they're always with you. Always watching over you. And you can always turn to them if you wish to and of course I can also help with that because I'm a psychic medium so if you want a reading with me on mediumship contacting a loved one that's also possible but you are supported so we have beautiful release and support message here that I really just feel that you need to hear these today and be stepping up into your power knowing what your skills are and just using them. Here is look, longing for home, homesick for the stars. This is a very common message for a star seed like me. So oftentimes we feel homesick because we don't we don't really <clears throat> come from the earth. So naturally we can get a bit homesick and i was always wondering about this like where was that coming from but now of course i have made peace with this feeling because i have studied and found out so much and been going through a long time on my spiritual path over 10 years so this is natural for me to die but if you are somebody uh who is new to this whole topic, then definitely I'm happy that you're watching this video and having this guidance because it's it's okay if you're feeling different from others, if you're feeling homesick, like you want to go back to heaven, you want to go back to space because that's where you came from. That's completely natural. And just let yourself feel that feeling that you're longing to go there. But for example, in medita meditations, you can really connect. So meditation is number one key. Uh, you know, connecting with God, with the universe, with everything. So meditate as often as possible. I really recommend doing it daily. Weight of the world, boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. Yes, boundaries are needed, especially with toxic people. They are so, so, so needed. And you have to let go what is not serving you and let go of all of your worries, insecurities, fears, whatever negative energy. It is not yours to carry. Maybe you've been worried about the world, like, you know, I can get like that too because that's just you know built in us because we are healers we are here to help others to serve the world to bring love and light and peace into this world to uplift others so naturally as empaths as highly sensitive people we carry other people's problems 
and it's not good for us to read the news, you know, listen to the news, uh, you know, to notice that negative energy because it's just too much. So <laughs> if you have been engaging in activities which are just not serving you, just let them go. And that is really what this message is about. Have your boundaries, know yourself, know your needs, value your feelings and emotions and just be letting go of all of that baggage. All, overall, this reading is a very powerful reading, apparently. Okay, star family, you're part of a team of souls. Call in support. Oh, yes, we are a family. We are all connected to especially our star seeds, earth angels, spiritual people. We are family. Call in support. Yes, you don't have to do this alone. You don't have to go through this path alone. For example, I'm here to help if you feel that you need a reading with me, coaching, you want to join my courses, buy my book. You are so welcome to doing that because you should not be going through this path alone as you are healing from all of that terrible terrible abuse which you went through and maybe you've been lost feeling lost like I was you know I was depressed always living in fear and depression so naturally I don't want that for anyone so um, if you want support and help don't hesitate to come to me for example you don't have to go through this alone like I was. I went through this alone. I did not know who to turn to really. So I've just been studying and just picking myself up through all of it. I was able to heal myself by myself. But of course, I have also been supported by God, by the angels, by the universe, just as we all are. But I have been really strong enough to do that but of course if I would have had a choice I would have accepted gladly to have somebody who would understand but I never found one person who would really get me who would be there for me when I needed so I have really experienced lots of horrific days years in my life so I don't wish that for you But yeah, so this is the reading today and may it guide you forward, may it give you the support and love that you need. Remember that my readings are timeless, so it does not matter when you're watching this. And um, if you're interested in working with me, all the information is found below this video. Hit the like button if you like this and don't hesitate to give me your comments or questions. I always just love to read them and reply to them. And may you have an amazing day. Sending you so much love and light. Thank you for sub subscribing to my channel, by the way. Uh, if you're watching this from YouTube. Uh, I may publish this also on Instagram, on my Instagram channel, because it's, it doesn't always work. So I have to check if it works or not. But anyway, thank you for being you. Namaste.